Rebecca here at the March of Remembrance Global Day of Action. During the Feast of Tabernacles, or Sukkot, people on the north side of Houston came together to celebrate. We're going to give you lemon soup. But it was also a time to remember those who perished in the Holocaust. And one of the speakers survived that catastrophic event. I have ten grandchildren and seven great-grandchildren. So you see, my sister and I both survived because of a wonderful mother. Join us in a special day that's talked about in the Bible, the Festival of Sukkot. A sukkah is a tent or shelter that Jewish families often put up in their backyards during the festival of Sukkot. One of these booths, you can see the roof is open and the command is to keep that roof open so that at nighttime, when we're looking up, we're seeing the stars, we're seeing the heavens, and hopefully we are connecting with the one true God who created all, all things. And that is the purpose of being out in the sukkah. During Sukkot, many people eat and sleep in their sukkah. Sukkot lasts seven days in Israel and eight days throughout the rest of the world. Hold on, because we're not done with this. The special prayer. During Sukkot, an etrog is used along with the willow branch, myrtle, and palm branch during the ceremony. In addition to the sukkah, the most prominent symbol of Sukkot is Arba Arba'at Hamenim, the four species, or the four kinds of organic products mentioned in the Torah regarding the festival of Sukkot. The etrog is the ancestor of the modern liberin. My father, Jim Becker, grows kosher etrog in Texas, which are the ancestor of the modern lemon. Kosher etrog, like my father's, are raised under strict guidelines. This is this is the big deal right here. This is from Israel, the Etrog. Oh. Okay, so this here is the willow. If you look at your if, look at your lulav, the willow is the one that uh, looks like a mouth. It's uh, thin and long. On the first day, you shall take the product of goodly trees, branches of palm trees, boughs of leafy trees, and willows of the brook, and you shall rejoice before the Lord your God for seven days. That's from Vayikra Leviticus chapter 23 verse 40. Part of Sukkot involves waving the etrog. You're in, but we'll, we'll shake the lulav together. Let's, uh, let's go to the, the right, and to the left, and to the front. Up, we'll do down, and we'll do from behind. So that's it. This oh is gosh. the kind of thing we need to do. We need to do it more, and we need to do it more places. More often in more places. That's how it's we, we have been waiting for this day for years. Okay. We've been waiting for years for the garden to be okay, the plans to be approved. All right, it's an incredibly exciting time for me as a Jew. The Sukkot gathering included a special speaker, a Holocaust survivor, who has an amazing story of how she was rescued from a Nazi death camp in France. So don't go away. Hebrew is the language of the Bible. Just look at the Dead Sea Scrolls. And you can begin learning Hebrew with Hebrew alphabet in 30 days. 
Ruth Steinfeld was a young girl when she and her sister were taken from their mother and sent to a French camp for Jews. They never saw their mother again. Amazingly, some French members of the resistance managed to get her and her sister out of the camp and hide them in a French village. There were 34 camps in France. Very few people know that, but France was very Nazi at the time, but yet they gave me my life. They hid me and they made sure that I survived. So I'm always grateful to the French people, the ones that were so good to me. None of the people from the French village told the Nazis the town was hiding the Jewish girls. I will never forget when my mother woke us up and told us to get on the bus. And I cried and I said, no, I want to stay with you. And the last time that I ever saw my mother was her waving goodbye from the back of this rickety old bus that was going to take us out of the camp. And I didn't know till 1981 that she was killed in Auschwitz. So my mother and father both. So I am very thankful for this young lady who is doing all this so that we won't forget. Those who forget the past are doomed to repeat it. That's gospel. If you don't know what your past was, you will certainly lose it in the future. You most probably repeat it. God help us. The Holocaust is a tragic event that should never be forgotten. I'm Jamie Becca.